In this video, we're going to take a look at how to access your recycle bin within OneDrive. This is only accessible through the online version of OneDrive, which would be accessed through a web browser such as Google Chrome. You can get there by going to Basecamp by clicking the icon on your desktop. Get logged into Basecamp with your 800 number and your student password. If you're a staff member, you know, log in as usual with your district username and district password. Either way, students or staff, once you get logged into Basecamp, you're going to want to click the icon for Office 365 that looks like this. Once Office 365 loads up, you're going to want to access OneDrive by clicking the cloud icon on the left side of the screen. That'll open up OneDrive in your browser, and you should see your files and folders from the root directory of your OneDrive online here. These would be the same files that you would see if you would access OneDrive through your file system on your computer. To access the Recycle Bin, you can click Recycle Bin on the left side of the screen. And anything that you've destroyed or deleted, or even whether it was intentional or accidental, will show up here. There is a bit of a timer, so files that are in your Recycle Bin will stay there for a certain amount of time. I can't remember how long, it's just many days or months, and then eventually they'll be deleted automatically. So if there is something that you're looking for and you look in the recycle bin, but you still can't find it, there is a second stage recycle bin that you can access by clicking this link here at the bottom of the screen. So looking at the main recycle bin, just look down here, you'll see second stage recycle bin is a clickable link. And if you click that, it'll show you if there's anything in there. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're, act if you're ever looking for a file, whether you accidentally deleted it or intentionally deleted it and you need to recover it. So that would be accessible only through the browser version of OneDrive.